there is something really, really, really cute. This is absolutely adorable. You guys, look. It's a little avocado bracelet. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie. If you're new here, I unbox subscription boxes and more. Today I have the monthly Somewhat Zen box. I'm so excited to share this one with you guys. Uh, the curator's trying something a little bit different. And she sent this to me free to review, which was very nice of her. And this is an older box. It's the October box, but she's trying a different theme. So I'm super excited. She's super proud of this box, and I cannot wait to see what's inside and share it with you guys. So if you want to see, and she's even changed up her beautiful, colorful logo here, which I love. If you want to see what is inside this special box, then please stay tuned. Right, so the curator's name is Rochelle. Rochelle, if you're watching, you will notice this kind of looks like different from how you left it. I unfortunately did one of those blunders that I think all YouTubers have done at some point in time and accidentally recorded thinking the record button was pushed and it was not. So I'm do unfortunately going over through this for me the second time, but for you guys for the first time. Uh, so anyway, this is our product guide. It's beautiful and <laughs> I did put in a thank you Rochelle, but you guys will find out later in the box why I did it that way. Um, so the October theme for this year was vegan awareness. So I am super excited to show you guys. I was blown away by this unboxing the first time and hopefully you guys will be too. And this is my product guide that I'm going to keep. Um, but just to give you some idea of what she uh, has in mind for this box. Borrowing a few lessons from the vegan lifestyle can positively change your mental and physical well-being. Our somewhat zen boxes are carefully curated to inspire a bit of calm and tranquility amid your daily hustle. Each month you will receive an 11-piece themed collection that can include handmade goods, bath and body, spiritual and crystals, guides and journals, health and wellness, home decor, whimsical eye items, and more. I do hope that the contents of this box inspire you to simply slow down and just be. And um, she usually gives the next month's month theme, but this one has November. But guys, I'm also getting the December box free to review. So again, thank you so much, Rochelle. And I cannot wait to share that with you guys. I don't know when it's coming in, but I cannot wait. Um, and if I have any discount codes, I will put them in the screen for you guys right here. So you can get a box. Because these are, as you guys know, this is one of my favorite, favorite all-time subscription boxes. So first, we have this little canvas pouch. And I love this right now. As you guys know, I've been getting a lot of sample size, like skincare products, and, you know, a hem birch box, loxetin, everything I've been opening. And I've been uh, using a bunch of pouches like these to put the items in. So I think this is, comes really handy. I like this simple, plain color. I really, really like that. Um, moving right along, there is something really, really, really cute. This is absolutely adorable. You guys, look. It's a little avocado bracelet. And of course the theme, I, I was wondering at first why it was on string, but then I realized that vegan, obviously she, I mean, she could have used like faux leather, but to not give the leather look, I think this is perfect. And this little charm, I hope you can see him or her. It's so cute. It's got an avocado on it and the beads, the beads fit well. I like the silver between the different colors. So I'm gonna put this on so you guys can see what it looks like. This is absolutely adorable. I love the little avocado there. It's so cute, a little bit blingy. I'll definitely wear, this could be my bracelet for the unboxing. It's got the adjustable pull strings in the back. I always love this type of bracelet. This is absolutely adorable. All right, so the next items we have look like there's some soy tea light candles. It's always important to use soy. It's another environmentally friendly type thing. We all know what soy candles look like. Moving right along, Rochelle is very much an artisan, and she makes hand makes a lot of her products for her boxes, including, I know she handmade this bracelet, I can just tell. Um, and Rochelle, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I'm, I'm assuming so. And we have this very gorgeous artisan soap. I'm going to get it out of the bag because I don't think it, uh, obviously the bag doesn't do it any justice. All right, so Rochelle, I'm assuming made this and printed the Tree of Life on it. In here you can see the leaves and then the trunk goes down this way it's absolutely gorgeous stunning 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 I love I love handmade soaps as you guys know 
I put this up here on the black bag because it is a little bit sticky from the glycerin, I'm guessing. It's a chamomile tree of life vegan soap. It smells a little bit like chamomile. I definitely get a scent. So yeah, I do smell the chamomile. And it's a cleanse and rejuvenate, four ounces. And it was handmade in Kentucky so that I know that she made this item. And it comes with a little info card with obviously ingredients and things like that if you're interested. So moving right along, we have looks like more environmentally friendly type items. Let's see what we've got in here. <laughs> I'm excited to see. You ever kind of wonder what's in a long box like that? There aren't many options, especially when you get something that says toothpaste. All right, so we have Neem Pomegranate Toothpaste by the brand Himalaya Bo Bo Botanique. It, yeah, Botanique. And it's a herbal mint, gluten-free, helps fight flight, flight, <laughs> helps fight plaque, fluoride-free, saccharin-free, SLS, which is sodium lauryl sulfate-free. Uh, so this is super cool. I have let me know if you've tried a toothpaste like this before. I tried a fennel toothpaste at one point. Um, I found it worked fine, but if it's a little bit, I have a little bit of sensitive teeth, so I have at one point eventually did have to switch back to some Sensodyne for a while, but I do love pomegranate, so I'm interested in trying out this flavor for sure. And I bet we can all bet we know what this is. This is the shape, and it came in a bag with toothpaste. So let's just get this open here and pull it, maybe, pull it on out. Oh, cool, and it's even got a rainbow theme to it. We have this bamboo, bamboo toothbrush with a rainbow uh, head to it. Let me know guys if in the comments below if you've tried bamboo toothbrushes, what you think of them, do you like them, how do you store them. I've gotten a couple in some boxes, I have not managed to try them yet, but I definitely should. So, moving right along, this is what you guys saw on the product guide in the beginning. I love this. This is a wooden pen, and it's, she's got Somewhat Zen carved in here, somewhatzen.com, the website. And it's actually fairly comfortable, and it writes really, really well. Like I. I was writing kind of this on my hand, so it's not the neatest, but thank you, Rochelle, for sending me this box. And this pen writes surprisingly so well. I, I had fun using it. I thought it was great. Uh, moving right along. Oh, coveted, 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 you guys. You know how much I'm going to love this. I have hand lotion, and it's avocado, just to match like a little bracelet here. So cute. It's a body lotion, plant essential oil with natural moisturizer. Oh, we know that we have to try this, right? So excited. All right, so you guys can see, I should have put it on the non-jewelry hand, but it does, it's very, very soft. Uh, it's, it's, it's shiny, but it is absorbing. I think I got too much when I, when I squeezed it out of the tube. I absolutely love the feel of this. Uh, you guys know me and my hand lotions. I really, really love them. It's got a great, refreshing green type scent, which I can only surmise is from the avocado extract. I looked at the other ingredients while I was putting it on and couldn't really see anything that would cause um, any reason to give it a scent. Uh, its efficacy is enriched with avocado extract. The texture is fine and refreshing. That's, it definitely is refreshing. It's almost a little bit cooling to the skin too. It's really nice. All right, so in, when I looked in the ingredients, I really didn't find anything that would give rise to a scent other than the um, uh, avocado extract. So it's definitely looking like that's giving the smell. It's just nice, clean, and very refreshing. It does have shea butter in here for those of you who love that. Um, aloe, vitamin E your typical lotion ingredients. So I'm a big fan of that product, as you guys know. Now there's something big over here that you probably, if you could see into the box at all, you might have been wondering. This is called, the brand is Flow, and it's Alkaline Spring Water. Have you guys heard of anything like this? I certainly have not. Um, so let's, re let's just look more into it. It's uh, alkaline, so it's got a uh, pH of 8.1, so that puts it just slightly over. Remember your science, you got the, um, basically pH 7 is neutral, and then anything higher it becomes alkaline, anything lower goes to acidic. And it's organic cucumber and mint flavored water. 
this, this is so cool. I can't, I bet it's, ah, oh, cucumber is a great flavor for sure. It's got naturally occurring electrolytes, essential minerals, and an alkaline pH of 8.1, like we said. It's 500 milliliters. And so why flow? Why would you want natural alkalinity, right? Uh, so it's sourced from our artisan spring. Flow naturally collects electrolytes and essential minerals, giving it that alkaline pH of 8.1 and that smooth, delicious, delicious taste. Overall, I really, really like the taste. It does something immediately. It kind of coats my tongue a little bit, and that might be the cucumber. It def I definitely taste more cucumber than mint, which I think is a good thing, actually, but there's just a hint of mint which may I rhyme, which makes it really nice. Um, but it's funny, it's water, but it's not water. And I know this is so strange, but I feel like I can taste that it's a little bit alkaline. Um, and not in a bad way, but you can just tell that it's something different from water. I would really like to see what this is like refrigerated. If I get to taste it before I edit it, I'll put it in the screen, but I'm not sure if I'll get to, I might be editing right away. Uh, but that is super cool. I'm, 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 it, it does taste really good. I'm really impressed. So moving along, you guys know that some of them wouldn't be complete without a crystal. So this month's crystal is Labradorite and we have a tiny heart shaped, uh, kind of very, very smooth, extremely tumbled stone here. And I've actually never seen Labradorite in such a light form, which is really cool. And usually it's got a little more shine to it, but that's okay. Uh, and they call it, she calls it a crystal worry heart, so I think it's one of those that you can kind of, even though it is tiny, you can kind of rub it if you're worried, things like that. And she's got a whole, uh, it talks about the chakras, uh, the birthstone, the zodiac, uh, the planet it goes with, I don't know what that means, and the elements and stuff like this. Um, if, if you're into all that, you could yeah, take it out of the reflective plastic bag. If you're into all this, you can certainly take uh, a screenshot or pause and read right there. But I just think Labradorite is really pretty. It says to you, like I said, to rub it between your fingers when you should need it. Keep your stone in your pocket or your purse when not in use. I do like that it is small enough for for transport or travel if um, you'd like to bring it with you as a re oh, reminder uh, not to worry and to relax, right? So, guys, there's some items in here. This is the box that never ends, and I love it. I love Somewhat Zen for so many reasons. Um, one of them is being that there's just so many items for the value. Uh, so next we have uh, something by the brand Primal Spirit, which I've actually heard of before, I believe, on Instagram. This is a vegan jerky with a teriyaki flavor. Non-GMO. Um, so here's what it looks like on the back. Hopefully that's not too reflective. If anything ends up being super reflective, I'll try to take a picture of it um, and get it in there for you so you can see. But I mean, it's typical beef jerky, really. It's just, it's vegan. And um, there is, there is uh, some gluten in here, which I thought was interesting, and soy sauce. But other than that, like nothing, um, no MSG or preservatives added, so there wouldn't be nitrates, which is a nice bonus. Um, but the salinity is still very high because it is, it is deed jerky. It's got 13% of the daily value serving size being one package. So this whole thing is 13% of your daily value recommended dose of sodium. Um, and I like to look to, uh, there's 11 grams of protein, which I think is amazing. Jerky, we know is a good source of, source of protein. Um, I think that's a cool item to include in the box. So you guys, we're down to our last few items, but save the best for last sometimes, right? Because she includes freebies sometimes in her boxes. Basically, there will be a small bag of freebies in every box, but additionally, there will be a free soap dish in your, in the, in your first box of your 3, 6, or 12-month subscription. So if you sign up for 3, 6, or 12 months, you'll get a free soap dish. And this um, product guide tells what this month's freebies are. But we're going to go through them real quick. I think they're looking super cool here. We definitely have an electrolyte drink mix by the brand Tactical. And it is a fruit punch flavored. And it makes a 16 ounce drink. So let me know if you guys have ever tried. I know, I know there's actually um, Rena from Boxes and Deals. Used to, at one point, unbox something called the Hydrate Club. I believe that was the name of it. If not, I'll correct it in the screen. And it was a whole 
subscription of different types of electrolyte and flavored water type drink mixes. I'm not sure if it was just flavored water. It may have just been electrolytes. Um, but that was super uh, cool for people who need that kind of thing. So we got a sticker that says, so bacon is not a vegetable? <laughs> they wouldn't kind of a vegan asking that question at all, but as we are learning about veganism, we know that bacon, obviously, well, even as a human being, we know it's not. Now this I can really appreciate. I actually don't really do the smudging because I don't like the smoke, but there's a coloring page that says, I'm going to smudge the crap out of you, and you can actually color that if you'd like. I just think this... The saying is funny, and this is, it's too good. It's really, it's really great, and I do like the smell of sage. I just uh, can't really handle the soap, the smell, smell too well, rather. But I think that's a really cute item for a freebie. So as you guys know, somewhat zen usually has a zine that comes with it. Before I get to the zine, I just wanted to tell you that with the zine we have our eleven objects, and that's including the toothbrush and toothpaste as one and not including the freebies. So I just had to remember to count the bracelet here that I'm wearing. So as usual, it's 11 objects as pri promised. I look forward to Rochelle's designs so much. She hand makes these. She does all the work herself. She puts these together, prints them. So this is, so bacon is not a vegetable. This is kind of different than something she's ever done. And I think this is why she's proud of the box. It's It says written by Rochelle Adair. She usually does make them, but this time, guys, listen up. It's a fiction story. You're not going to believe this, but she actually wrote us a story. Like chapter one, Super Freak. It literally has chapters in here to go along. Um, it's, it's amazing, really. I mean, chapter six, R is for relapse, R is for rescue. I think it's all about learning about veganism, from what I can tell. Chapter four. Welcome to Vegan Boot Camp. And so the very basic premise is about a, a 27-year-old man named Rick James. He's a meat-loving introvert that made that is made to go on a journey of self-discovery where his life has changed forever. So there's Mr. Rick James right there. And I just think it's really cool that she made a story about this. I can't wait to read it. You know, it, it's not too long, but it's, it's got good substance to it. It really... She did write a decent story, and I love that the curator of a box took the time to write a story based on the theme of the box. Uh, and here's a certificate of a completion for the vegan boot camp, which is cool, too. I can't wait to see, if, even though that it's fiction, how much vegan information is weaved into this story. And then there's some uh, resources at the back. Learning how to be a vegan in a non-vegan world. Learning how to steward the planet. Uh, vegan alternatives, not only for meat and dairy, but then like leather, toiletries, fabric, cleaning aids, things like that. And there's some recipes, you guys, which has me excited. And now there's this first one, I have no clue what it is. It doesn't really sound like something I would like, but it's, well, maybe, I don't know. Uh, I don't mind chickpeas. There's some things in here, but I just don't know what it is. It's called Chana Alu, C-H-A-N-A-A-L-O-O. -O. If I have time, I'll Google it, but... This is what I'm interested in. Dark chocolate coconut macaroons. You guys, I've, you know, I've, I've found some decent vegan chocolate, but not the best for sure. Um, so it's basically just dairy-free chocolate, dark chocolate chips or chopped dark chocolate, a tablespoon of coconut oil, teaspoon of vanilla extract, pinch of salt, and three-quarter cup of unsweetened shredded coconut, which I love. I love cho chocolate macaroons and... I'm very excited to try this. Um, I have, my mom has made me some dark, 100% dark chocolate sweetened with honey that I've really, really liked. And um, she's put in some either coconut or pecans, some walnuts, you know, nuts into that. That's been a lot of fun. But you guys, I just want to tell you briefly, Rochelle is not just a curator with, you know, hopes of being somewhat zen. She's way more than qualified than that. Um, it has a little bio on the, of her about her on the back here. Born on the beautiful island of Trinidad, Rochelle Adair is a certified mindfulness coach, writer, and small business owner. Her passions include spreading awareness of all things zen, healthy, and eco-friendly. She also enjoys creating a variety of handmade lovelies. When she is not co crocheting, writing, or creating, Rochelle can be found being super awesome with her family in northern Kentucky. She's so impressive, you guys. I mean, and I'm really, you can see why she's proud of this box. She wrote this story for it. She made this bracelet, most likely. I'm 99% sure she did. She made the soap. 
Um, sometimes in the boxes we get other um, bath and body type products that are handmade. We've gotten bath bombs, we've gotten uh, body oils. I mean, just, just so much variety. Uh, she really does make pretty much just about anything you can think of like that. And this, this box just never fails to disappoint me. I, as you guys know, I absolutely always love this box. It, it just has such a variety of items and they're fun to get, they're fun to use. It's just, it's fun, the whole thing from the unboxing to the using to everything is just such a fun experience. So I'm trying to think what my favorite items are. I definitely love this little bracelet, this little avocado is just, I can't get my wrist straight now, but just the cutest little charm. It's got a little smiley face on it. Uh, I really, of course, you guys know, I love the lotion, the avocado lotion. And not just because it's avocado. I mean, ironically, I had avocado in my dinner tonight. I love avocado. Um, so it's so cool to have hand cream. Uh, I might have to get more of that when that one's out. Um, I, of course, always love a good handmade soap. And the fact that it's, she printed the Tree of Life on here is stunningly beautiful. Absolutely incredible. I really like the wood pen, and I love that she's promoting her brand somewhat zen, and it's so comfortable to hold. It's, it's truly magical. I like this canvas pouch. I'm interested in the coconut, uh, coconut, sorry, I, wrong C word, cucumber and mint flavored water. Um, that sip that I take, took was really yummy, and you guys, this is just an amazing, amazing box. Of course, I've always love that she includes a crystal every time I look for it no matter what you know I really appreciate crystals as you know so and don't forget I also love the sign and this time I've got a little fiction story to read so that's super exciting let me know what you guys think of this box it is $35.99 a month and that does include includes shipping free shipping to the US and if I have a code I will put it here for you in the screen below but thank you so much for hanging out with me as I opened up October Somewhat Zen, the vegan, vegan, sorry, vegan awareness box. I just wanted to think if there's anything else I need to tell you. Unfortunately, guys, I don't know January's theme yet because I haven't gotten the December box. But I'm sure when I get the December box, I'll be able to tell you if I don't get it unboxed in time, just hang out and check with my social media check I um, might even get to put it on my community tab page I can definitely announce this January's theme for you guys I'm really looking forward to December's cannot wait I know she's got some new things for her boxes planned in the new year so Rochelle thank you so much for sending me this uh, free to review I just you know how much I love you love your boxes you're a fantastic person and to, so creative and talented to do all this and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As always, if you haven't yet, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps me. It helps my channel. And until next time, guys, take a look at this card, end card. See what type of other content I have that you might like. Click on something else and explore. And I'll catch you later. Bye.